and welcome back to the Dandelion Diaries. I recently got this pen on the recommendation of a YouTube fan, and this is the Traveler's Company Brass Fountain Pen. I really do like gold pens, and I just, yeah, I really wanted to try this one out, so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in the packaging, if I can get it open, goodness. <laughs> And I will show you a writing test and kind of like size comparisons, usually like we do for a normal new pen day, just for good comparison. So this is the packaging. It is very interesting with the kind of layout of everything. This is the pen here, and then this is the cartridge that would come with it. It does not come with a converter, so if you wanted to use a converter in it, you'd have to get one small enough that fits inside it. It is attached to this cardboard with the pen loop, pen clip. Ugh. Very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna put this to the side over here and zoom you guys in. So as you can see, it is very compact. It is meant to be with a smaller, um, like a smaller type of book, like the Traveler's Passport size or anything like that. And I'm already getting my fingerprints all over it, which is great. <laughs> um, it is meant to patina over time, similar to most brass and copper pens. And it does have a, like a, a penny scent to it. So it is very much a, a metal pen and it does have a little bit of weight to it, which is kind of nice. To open it, you just pull you don't screw so you just pull it open and this is the actual size of the pen which is about the size of my finger which is kind of cool and then to write with it you would post it so it would be a comfortable size and this is actually really nice it is a little slightly heavy so your hand might get tired if you're writing for a long time with this but I really do like the feel of just the whole body being copper that's really nice it does have a steel fine nib. Fine is the only option. You don't get a choice. It is just how it comes. And if you wanted to insert the converter, or not the converter, the um, cartridge, there we go. Forgot the word for a second. You just can hold on to the nib here, unscrew, and the thing pops out. You can also, I believe this section comes off too. Yeah, the metal section does come off as well. So I guess if you were able to get a similar nib size, you would be able to change out the nib just because that did unscrew very nicely. But we will leave it like this for now. Let's go ahead and do some size comparisons. And I'm only really gonna compare it to one pen and that is the Caveco Sport. <laughs> And here is the Caveco Sport. So if you like the Caveco Sports and you want a brass pen, honestly, Traveler's Company is not a bad choice because they are darn sure close to the same size. So the Caveco does unscrew. So this is it unposted. Let's hope that it doesn't roll away. And then there's the Traveler's Company unposted as well. So as you can see, Traveler's Company is very much a teeny tiny little pen perfect for traveling. And then if we go right here to the other pen, if we post it this way, it does, the Traveler's Company pen is actually a little bit longer than the Caveco. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this pen off and then we will do a quick writing sample. Okay, so this is just a Hobonichi A6 notebook and I'm gonna flip to a clean page here. And I'm going to be dip testing because I don't want to put the cartridge in the pen and I don't have a converter that I'm ready to put in this pen either to ink it up. So we're gonna be using Waterman Black to test out the writing. Oh, and I got ink all over the pen body, hold on. So this is the Traveler's Company. Fountain pen in brass with a 
fine nib. It does have a tiny bit of flex if you push down. As for reverse writing, it's very scratchy. But overall, this is this is a good little writer. So if you wanted to travel with this bad boy, this would be a good choice. I mean, it would it would probably take the take the path of least resistance because it is metal, but very nice. It does also have the Traveler's Company made in Japan engraving on it that I just noticed. But let's compare it to a, another fine set of pens. So this is a Pilot Vanishing Point in a fine nib. Okay, this will be a Lamy Safari, also in a fine. And then I'll go ahead and compare it to my Estabrook SD, which is also in a fine nib. I'd say it's definitely more of a Western, or I mean a Japanese fine. It's uh, pretty close to the Pilot Vanishing Point. As you can see, the Esterbrook and the Lamy are a little bit bolder, I feel like. But overall, a really nice writer and a happy new addition to my little fountain pen family. All right, that is all for this cute little fountain pen here, the Traveler's Company Brass Fountain Pen in the Fine Nib. Let me know what you think about this pen in the comments. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.